It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody horse whip him for me, please? For the love of all that is holy. Bonjour. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry there. There you are. Monsieur? Bonjour, monsieur. Mais bonjour. Bonjour. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. All Welcome right, back, Mr. Does anyone have any cocaine? Oh, I simply Bonjour. must have some. I bet none of you boars have any. And if you did, I bet none of you would share. Hello there. Miss Powell, please, whatever you need, just ask. It's Miss Powell, and I need some bloody cocaine. Well, I can't help you there. Hey, what's your pleasure? I'll have, uh, whatever you like. Some hops for you? Uh, My old tailor closed up shop. Heaven knows where I'll find another as good. These things are sent to dry us. My God! What, what is wrong with all of you? You're, you're, you're dull! Dull, dull, dull! I bet you all vote! Oh, I bet you all care! Oh, there's nothing worse than caring. Caring hurts. I don't want to hurt. I want to drink and inject cocaine. Devour virgins whole. Mm -hmm. Usual sort of stuff. Not doors I put water down his gym. Ce ne serait pas la première fois. Hello, ma'am. Jimmy! Is Jimmy here? Have you seen Jimmy, tough guy? Can't say that I have. Well, when you see him, punch him for me, will you? Bloody little man's late with my cocaine. What is this world we're living in? I said, darling, can I get another bloody drink over here? I was conversing with uh, Jean-Michel. Oh, come on, chop, chop, <laughs> darling, I'm dying of thirst. Ask if I was this is meant to be a saloon, not a bloody vicarage. Oh, what's wrong with you? What a girl have to do to get drunk around here? Oh, what do you have? I have, uh, whatever you like. Hey, this will give you some pass, you. Ah. Oh. 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 oh, what I wouldn't give for the love of a good woman. Care for another? I'd give up booze and opium and that little toy I had sent from Paris. Oh, don't be shocked. None of you, not even you, Tom. Oh, do any of you know about Tom? He was a priest. Where is bloody Tom? Tom! Where in the blazes are you? Little Catamite was a priest until he got defrocked. <laughs> it was an outrage. He'll tell you all about it. Madam. <laughs> nice to see you again, cowboy. And you, Miss, um... Lillian Powell. <laughs> I used to be quite well known. Now I'm just the bloody town drunk. Who knew you? <laughs> the worst types, darling. Intellectuals. In other words, men without balls. Hermaphrodites, as my mother would call them. Eunuchs, as my father liked to say. Geldings. I was popular with geldings, darling. Now even the ballists hate me. 
him. That old mess. You know, there's something about this place. Oh. Bonjour, monsieur. Side of despair. Ma'am. Eh bien. Just what exactly are we doing alive? It's a mystery to me. No mistake. Have you got any ideas, big man? No, not really. Well, at least you're honest. All my life I've been surrounded by morons claiming to know the answer to that question. Liars. Bloody lot. Narcissi, all of them. It's the great American sickness, vanity. I'm very drunk. Hello, sir. What does a old hag have to do to get drunk around here? Please! Gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. Let's go on. Mr. Dawson, just next door, he run up one hell of a tab here. See, his business been slow, and I'd hate to turn him away, but, uh, wh what can I do for you? Give me a beer. Some hops this for you? This town is so bloody boring. Boring. All of you. You're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. The place used to be sophisticated. Stories I heard would make a devil blush. If our ancestors could steal Not anymore. The devil's gone elsewhere. And we're left with the choir masters. And not the fun kind. No sirree. Olga's gun had to let his store close. He couldn't compete with the 15 immigrants who are for what else? In the basement of the store down the street. Ah. Bien. You know something? <laughs> no, you know nothing. Bunch of ignorami. That's plural for ignoramus. Latin like cunnilingus. Also Latin. <laughs> I have an education. Daddy hired a wonderful tutor. Poor fellow. Fell in love with my mother. Hanged himself. They say hanged, not hung, when it's people. Down here, you say lynched. But you always did mangle the language. God, I am so bored. The Myers people are securing voters with money rather than truth. No! Oh, Saturn! Seigneur! Plus jamais! My God, I am so bloody bored! Do you know I burnt my new novel? <laughs> Finished it and burnt it. The novel is dead. Such tripe! hated my characters and after i tortured them for 30 pages even i was losing the will to live tom that one tom me? he's a where's bastard. tom right. little catamite i'm horrified well i guess that's the way of it I had a fella come Just in here the other day. Hair slick back, big. There's something about a good drink. Oh, God, but 
There's a small-minded simpleton. I met him once. Jimmy, did you hear that? I met Evelyn Miller. They used to say at Yale that he has a tiny penis. Oh, don't be shocked. But I can't say for sure. He wouldn't show me. But, my God, what a four. Does any man, any man that prefers trees to tits? <laughs> He gets what he deserves, and that's a fact. Je vous salue. Well, that's that, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, Evelyn Miller. How are things with you? Yeah, He's even got a woman's name, poor fucker. What is it about second sons born into privilege? <laughs> I'm bored of being a professor. I want to stare at trees. You're a moron, my friend. <sighs> Yale is well shot of him. And, and what about that other fellow, the, the Harold McDougal, the, the, the anthropologist? My cousin says he's an even bigger moron and a drug addict. Oh, are any of you drug addicts? Oh, I wish I knew more. Can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs> oh, it was inevitable, really. Hmm. Oh, four locks of hair. Different people's locks, too. I apologize for the noise, sir. She's, uh, had one too many. What's wrong with this country? Too many bloody rights, and given to entirely the wrong people. We need another war. Oh, don't play Just give me a drink, quick. Virgins, give me a break. Before, you know. Good for what else? Well, well. How's everything going? I'm not drunk. I'm an intellectual. Well, well. That's the thing, darling. We intellectuals have to drink. We've got a terribly difficult job. Just being clever like this is so very hard. It's exhausting. Why, just the other day, I was so tired of just being brilliant like this. I drank all day. Sick of North liberalism, he say. Let's just say I wish I lived in simpler times. I know it's not true, darling. <sighs> Tom. Takes a bow, thief. Tommy. Thank you. Tom, forgive old Lillian. I'm such a bad boy. I really am. Oh, Tom. He's yeah, sulking with me again. I think someone's pissed in his porridge. <laughs> That's what my nanny used to say. Silly old Scotch hag. Like smelled of old fish. Like God, she's dead. To the Can I get another bloody the drink? Room, I'm parched. The red gas lights. Oh, that old story. Of course. All set. I'm told Life the savages are giving hard. businesses a terrible time. I must stop north. working quite so much. <laughs> Learn to relax. I'm quite yeah. withered by stress. I need a bloody drink! Somebody get me a drink! Tom! Ugh. Mais bonjour. Where is that little Mais shit? Bonjour. Tommy, darling, where are you? And how are you today? I have been better. Je suis vraiment désolé. So, what'll it be? Give me a beer. So. Hey, this'll give mm -hmm. you some pep. Does any 
anyone have a woman to spare? Nice little housewife I could devour. Jimmy? Jimmy, are you still here? Bet he's off having his dress mended. <laughs> Sniveling little leech. Reprobate. He reminds me of my husband. Did I ever tell any of you fools about David? Oh, my God. He's a brilliant man. But there wasn't a busboy or a bellhop from here to Timbuktu he didn't seduce. Princes, paupers, mm, office clerks. David had them all. No wonder his symphony was laughed at. He wrote a long section for the timpani. <laughs> all because he was in love with the percussionist. Eros, you are such a shit to us mortals. <sighs> of course. Some hops for you? Your Mr. Harden left town last night. Took that whore with him. World. Yes, indeed. <laughs> what kind of a sick fellow thought it up? Answer me that, any of you? Probably a eunuch, judging by the people he lets do well. And he hated women, <laughs> judging by what fate oh, has handed to me. Look at me! Seems like he's having trouble paying the local taxes. An old mess. Mm. 